Hi, this is Janelle Bailey reporting for WDSU-TV Channel 14. There are many important factors that go into the final steps of being a senior. One of those steps being senior portraits. I've had the chance to sit down and speak to the photographers about how they make this process as smooth as possible. Um, you would start from the ground up. You get them dressed first and then you start posing their hands. Once their hands are in the right place, then you would want to start fixing their clothing so they're not really moving around too much. And then lastly, you're going to do hair, anything with the face, moving the head. Basically just have them sit or stand depending on the pose and just try to get them relaxed and get them posed and, uh, you know, just look into the camera and smile. Well, normally you're trying to capture someone at their best. So, you know, that implies that it needs to be a good hair day, you know. Uh, you want to try to get an angle that, you know, kind of reflects their best side, you know, and, and you want to try to get them in the best mood for the picture that you want to take. But it's all about, you know, catching people when they're at their best because that's a portrait is normally something that you're going to represent you to a lot of people. You, know? you kind of just, you guesstimate until you're actually behind the camera looking at it, but the more you do it, the more you get used to where you're setting your like eye level <clears throat> and how their face is going to look from that level. You know, like you tip the head up too much, their chin looks big, down too much, forehead looks big. I think it's because of short-sightedness, not understanding the value of photography, you know. I get, you know, as a photographer, I get all the time, don't take my picture. I don't take good pictures, you know, but it's really not all about that person. You know, I tell them that all the time. There's somebody that loves you, and somebody would really appreciate having a picture of you. That's why a lot of times you look in the newspaper and you look in the obituaries, some of them have pictures, some of them don't. And that's because some of those people either weren't, their background didn't involve a lot of photography, but I guarantee you some of those people were people that said, don't take my picture. I don't like the way I look in a picture. And then when you need a picture of them, it's non-existent. Now that we talked to the photographers, let's go talk to the students about the senior portraits. All right, I think uh, senior portraits are important. I think the major reason why they're important is because um, it's something that you can show to your family, um, just like you did in high school senior portraits or something that they can just have a documentation of you actually becoming a senior now. And, um, and I mean, that's really important for your family, for your family members, and also for you to keep record for in the future. Uh, senior portraits, I believe, like, it's, it's traditional. It's something we've done since middle school, since grade school, you know, when we're younger. It's just a, a historic documentation just to show that this was where you were. This is what you've accomplished when it comes to getting your high school, high school degree or college, you know, and it's, I think it's very important to take those photos and have something like that just to, to have, to show to your children in the future or anyone in the future. Um, I think students that don't participate, like myself, I didn't participate in the senior um, photos just because of time constraints um, and, uh, and problems with, uh, with actually managing my time, being able to actually take the senior portraits. I think there's uh, other things that they're trying to get accomplished right now as far as graduating on time and, um, and doing things of that nature. So that's probably one of the major reasons why people haven't participated in the senior portraits. Uh, seniors may be, very, may be very busy when it comes to graduating on time. Uh, having their senior projects, you know, together or capstones together and ver just focusing on those things instead of actually taking a photo, which can be, even though it takes a couple seconds to take that photo, it can be, it can hinder someone like with doing their work or something that they're actually focused on, which is like senior projects and things like that. Uh, I don't think I regret regret not taking the senior photos because I can take the senior photos at any time um, at my own expense. I know it's, it's outside companies that actually do that, um, do take senior photos. Um, better quality senior photos are actually the people that came here. So I, I know I won't regret taking the senior photos unless it is in the yearbook. So maybe I'll regret it a little bit if it's, if it's in the future yearbook. A little because if I see like uh, those who I've graduated with, you know, my colleagues and their, their photos in the future, and I'm like, oh, my, I don't have mine, you know. I didn't have time to take mine. I'm going to be a little bit, you know, regretful about it. But overall, maybe. 
Well, senior portraits are now complete, and the final steps for these students as Hornets will be commencement ceremonies on Sunday, May 23rd. Congratulations to the class of 2010. It's now your time to make your mark on the world. Once again, this is Janelle Bailey reporting for WDSU-TV Channel 14.